Chicago after with his dad after his mom has died. Uh, they're from uh, I believe it was Alabama originally, and it's a very very tough time in both of their lives um, because his uh, his mother and his dad's wife has just died, and so he's at sea trying to adjust to this new place and find his way. Um, and the next one that I'll read from is Leaving Lyman. But I'll tell you about that when we get to it. So, let's see. Okay. <clears throat> Before I do that, I'll bring you some water. This is a human endeavor. <laughs> Playing and 
helping him around the house. Henry, let the boy be. Ain't nothing wrong with him spending time with his mama. Sitting in the house reading ain't gonna help him grow into a man, Tina. These things the boy's gotta learn. Reading is learning, Henry. Mama said, man, that ain't the kind of learning I'm talking about. See, mama got tired of fighting after a while, so when I wasn't in school, daddy kept me busy working alongside him, chopping firewood, clearing brush, fixing things around the house, needed fixing, working and sweating side by side. Daddy didn't say it, but I could feel his pride in me then. I walked behind the library lady. Floors looked like someone just finished polishing them. So shiny, I bet if I leaned down, I'd be looking like in the mirror. Can I help you find a book? She says, still walking, but looking back at me. I want to say no, but ask for directions to get on home. But I don't want to leave this quiet place. Again, my head yet nods yes. The lady starts walking farther into the library, and I keep following and let myself breathe in the library smells. Old paper, glue, wood. Smells better than Mama's peach cobbler. Everything in here is so new, it makes my worn shoes look more worn. Looks like they could fit five of those little libraries from back home into this one room. I scuff downstairs and into a smaller room with round tables and shorter bookshelves. I walk over and run my hand along the bookcases, forgetting all about asking the way home. Can I read one? My voice sounds squeaky as a girl's. You can borrow any kind of book you want, she says kindly. Just ask the librarian at the front desk. Any kind of book I want, I whisper to myself, and I take a few down from the shelf and pull up a chair to the table. I trace the letters on the covers of each and stop. One has my name. I pull it out and open to the first page. I pick up my life and take it with me. And I put it down in Chicago, Detroit, Buffalo, Scranton. Feels like reading words from my heart. I keep reading until I feel a tap on my shoulder. I can tell by the sun outside the rain stopped and it got late and that means daddy's already home and waiting. We're closing soon, so you need to make your selections, the library lady says. I tell her I got a little lost on the way over, and she shows me to the door and points. Walk down two blocks, she says. Then turn left on Wabash, and you should be close to home. Thank you, ma'am. Hurry on home now, she says. I'm sure your mama will be waiting. My stomach tightens into a ball. But I run out the door and down the steps toward home.